beautiful day <clears throat> for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Would you be my neighbor? Won't you be? Please, won't you be? Please, won't you be my neighbor? God morning. It's still morning over here. Eastern Standard Time is still morning. It's late morning. God morning. Hope all is well with you all. If it ain't, it is. It's another day, another blessing, another great opportunity to give our Father a great praise. Why? Because He is worthy. And I'm I'm excited to see you all this morning. God morning, Lisa. God morning. God morning. I'm your friend in your head. God morning. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Look, I'm facing the camera now, Dr. Tony. Listen, listen. I'm typing. I am I'm preparing my sermon for Sunday. So I'm I'm typing. I said, let me check in with the fam to see how they're doing. I want all of you to 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 have a great God day. It's still morning in Chicago. Praise the Lord. I am doing great. Thank you for asking. I am doing great. I am doing great. <laughs> Had to run a lot of errands this morning with my youngest and then the toilet is clogged up and we can't seem to get it unclogged listen do you have a clog in your life that you can't remove listen I, I, somebody is spiritually clogged up look <laughs> there's just a lot going on and it tends to be that way when when i feel like i'm trying to really be be mindful of the time that i spend with god and really sit with him listen so yes, I was just preparing my um word document so I could type it up while I still got it because I wrote it down. I like to write it. I like to write stuff down. It helps me to remember when I'm in front of people because you tend to forget things when you're in front of an audience. But I'm preparing for Sunday and I praise God for the Women's Day uh, Women's Day on Sunday that um in Philomath, Georgia. So I'm excited. But some of us are are are, are spiritually clogged up. Listen. Uh, spiritually constipated. I, I, I need. I feel like preaching today. Listen. <laughs> hey, y'all. I love you too. I love you too. Listen. Let me see. I love you too. I really do. I really do. Um, I'm just trying to encourage myself and stay lifted and stay positive because you know all kinds of things try to to all kinds of darts try to come at you when you're really about your father's business because the enemy knows that there is still a word for the people. There is still a word for the people. And I'm, listen, I'm going to press my way through this clog. We're going to get it. We, I, I don't know if I need to buy another plunger. Lord, I need you to send <laughs> I, I hope everybody's good. How y'all doing? Hey, Tasha, hope all is well, baby doll. I am just sitting here trying to get my things uh, underway because I know I got a, a lot of other errands to run and I'm excited for what God is going to do. Spiritual constipation is a thing. Yes, it is because we, we, we see so much. We are so, we are overstimulated that the beauty of community, the beauty of connection has been, uh, Y'all, I, I don't have a word for it. And I don't want to use the wrong word because there's still people out there that, that are trying to connect, right? Like I'm trying to connect. I try to use my platforms as a, a, a positive um, tool to, to just get through life. Since this is, this is social media, I like, I'm a social butterfly, but listen, I, I'm trying to use it in a, in the best way I know how, right? I love you too. I love you too. Is it Arlinda? I love you too. Listen, we got to, I was like, I said, please, girls, I, I was telling them, like, making sure that they're not flushing things that they're not supposed to flush. Listen, we ain't ingesting things that we're not, that's a word for real, spiritually clogged up, we're spiritually constipated, listen. <laughs> So I gotta I gotta run to Home Depot, Lowe's, or somebody, and see if there's if, if there's a Drano for the toilet. I know you're not supposed to pour the Drano in the toilet, I mean, but for lack of better words, I need to find some type of Drano for the toilet because the plunger is not working. We need to move to step B, right? <laughs> we need to move on to step B, right? Listen. But I, I hope all is well. How y'all doing? Listen, I'm for real. That's a word. For real. I said, okay, Lord. 
Why do we have to be going through this uh, clogged mess? It's not a mess. It's, it's still where we can, you know, get in there. I just hope it doesn't become something bigger. But I'm going through this clogged mess while we are um, preparing, trying to prepare and spend time with you and hear from you. But I know there's a word. He will fix it. I tried the boiling hot water, Lisa. Listen, I poured big, big pans of boiling hot water down in there. That didn't work. So that was step A. No, no, no. Step A was the plunger. I tried the plunger, right? I, I plunged it to so hard that the, the, the water was starting to pop back up out of the thing. I had to go and put on a hazmat suit. And I, no. <laughs> no. I, okay, the plunger was first, right? That was the first step. Right. And since when that didn't work, I went to the boiling water, I boiled the hot water. And then my husband and we, we got an auger and one of the A-U-G-E-R. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Auger. And, and we tried to snake it down in there. The, the, I don't know. Maybe the, the, the clog is deep. There's, it's, it's, it's blocking. It's a blockage. There is somebody on this line that is spiritually blocked. <laughs> I'm just trying to find light in it, y'all, because it's frustrating. Um, when it's, it's the girls on the girl side of the house, it's their bathroom. So they've been using the, uh, what well, we have the, the guest restroom or our bathroom. If they need our bathroom, we praise the Lord for, 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 for extra. We praise the Lord for two and three more, you know, the, the, come on, we have three, we have what? Two and a, two and a half baths, what you call it? Yes. <laughs> so we're going to pray, pray, pray. That this clog is removed today because we've been dealing with this thing for about uh, uh, a week and this is this is the half point. We last week and here we are mid this week and Lord, I'm tired, but I know that something will come of it. This block, this, this 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 will not stop my praise. Do you hear me? The blockage will not stop my praise. <laughs> So how y'all doing? What y'all doing? I, I I can talk all day. Listen, I just wanted to, I've, I've Googled. Listen, don't you know that we have our phones handy? I've Googled. I've done all of that. The next, the, the what I just Googled was um, something called something booster blaster, a uh, uh, um, powder plunger. That's what it's called. The devil show is a liar. He, he better get, he has no place here. So we, we need all pipes clear. Do you hear what I said? Uh, so I'm, I'm going to Lowe's after I finish typing up my sermon, I'm going to go to Lowe's and, um, see what this, what this powder plunger talking about. If they, they it says they, it says, Lowe's said they got it, uh, Home Depot, one of them, which whatever one I get to first, <laughs> Lord, just show me the way. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Thank you for sharing this piece of information you have made, my day. I really had a beautiful God. Oh, well, thank you. Praise God. Have a continue to have a God day, James. I know that's right. We all we need all the pipes clear. Listen, we need all the pipes clear, Doctor Tony. <laughs> and I declare that it will happen. It will happen. There will be a clearance. A clearance is on the way. <laughs> so whatever is blocking. Whatever is blocking your praise, whatever is blocking your prayer, whatever is blocking you from focusing on the power of God, I need you to find something to plunge it out. Listen, I, I got to turn that thing around. I'm trying to lift myself up and not get frustrated about it. Because see, listen, if you read this book, I don't know if you've read this book. If you've heard of this book, I read it a long time ago, need to read it again. Don't sweat the small stuff because it's all small stuff. That's the name of the book. So if you want a good read, I need somebody to go on over there and, 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 and whatever you do, whatever you, however you read, however you read, uh, uh, fire, what is it? What is the Amazon fire thing? The book tablet. I like to hold a book. I like to get down and be, 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 be. I want to touch the book. I don't, I, I try not to do everything electronically, you know? But don't sweat the small stuff because it's all small stuff. Somebody need to type that in the comments. Don't sweat the small stuff because it's all small stuff. It's an old book. So, so I, I don't even know who the author is, but I guarantee if you put in the title, you will find the book. It's a small read. It's not, it is not too complex. It's just straight to the book. Kindle, that's what I was trying to think about, Dr. Tony. Y'all got my back. If I know one thing, y'all got my back and I thank you. Thank you. Somebody has read the book. They say that's a good one. But yes. 
Um, praise when you're frustrated. That's good. That's good. So, so what I'm going to do is turn this, this, this clog or, or this blockage into a praise. We have too much going on around in the world today. And I, I'm trying to keep my focus on myself, my family, my house, and making sure that this is continued to be a haven or a place of peace for my family. Not only my family, for me, right? Don't sweat the small stuff because it's all small stuff. Somebody need to go read that today. For real, for real. But listen, I just wanted to check in with you all. I love you all so much. I really, 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 really um, appreciate the love and the support. Praise is our biggest form of a weapon. Yes. And then there are times where we don't want to praise. Be real. Let's be real. There are times where we don't want to open our mouths. But I, 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 I want to, I beseech you therefore, my brothers and sisters. I, I need you to press your way through that. Because the enemy wants to keep us silent. You know, they are over in Israel. They are trying to pass a law to stop people from talking about Jesus. Listen, I am not afraid because it's in the book. It's in the book of Revelation. This, this, these days will come. So I need y'all to, to, you know, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Put uh, Hide the word in your heart. I don't care if you read one scripture a day. You better get you a book and you better hold it close. It, it, it reminded me of, y'all remember the book of Eli? That movie with Denzel Washington, the book of Eli? Yeah. No, I hadn't started no comics. Listen, my granddaddy told me I was funny, but see, it's different when you're on stage. I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, 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 I don't. No, Dr. Tony, I haven't done it, but my granddaddy always, I always think about when I'm not even trying to make people laugh. And he always told me that I was funny. I needed to be a comedian, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 me, me, if I had my way, I, I would say I'm not ready for that. But <laughs> thank you so much for that love. Thank you for loving my YouTube. Thank you, Jazz. I praise God. You need to speak with my hubby. <laughs> thank you so much, Jazz. Oh, yeah, I love y'all. Y'all so sweet. But what was I even talking about? See, what was I even talking about? Yes, the you you gotta you got listen. Get the, get your Bibles. Well, you know, with all this stuff that's going on with the water system in in, in Philadelphia, and then that train exploding and putting all the chemicals. Listen, I need you to stay ready so that you don't have to get ready. Hide the word in your heart. A lot of people don't believe whatever. I ain't trying to force it down your throat or anything. God gives us free will and I praise him for that. But it reminds me of the, like the beginning of what, what happened with, um, the, the book of Eli, that movie. So yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just going, you know, continue to be me. I love the Lord and everything that's about him. And I try to stay positive no matter what. So, Hey, beautiful. Stay ready. Hide the word in your heart. Read a scripture a day. A scripture a day keeps the enemy at bay because the enemy going to still be out there. It's just, look, a, a, a scripture a day. I ain't going to say it keeps the enemy away. It keeps the enemy at bay. You got to stay prayed up. You got to stay connected. Prayer is our direct line to the Father, right? Jeremiah 33, 33. Yeah. Call him. Listen. Hey, side eye. Side eye barbecue on the line. We praise God for side eye barbecue. Y'all know I love me some sauce. And that's some good barbecue sauce. <laughs> Y'all need to go and try it out. I'm so serious. I'm going to keep doing me, Arlinda. Praise God. I, I thank God for growth. Because it was time in my life where I would run away from trying to say, oh, I'm a preacher. Or I'm a, I'm a you know, I, I still don't have like... You don't, you see my name on social media. You don't see me say like minister KD French or minister this or pre I, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to live a life that's pleasing to God. It's not about a title for me. I just want people to be encouraged in all walks of life and know that I look, we are in this thing together. I'm not somebody trying to sell you anything, you know, hey, my music is coming out soon, but listen, <laughs> but, uh, I, I want, um, I want, I just want people to be encouraged. I want people to laugh. 
because stress is a silent killer. It'll kill you as fast as a bullet wheel, seriously. And I'm not trying to make light of anything because we're in continuous prayer because it's becoming a, a, a sense of normalcy with this gun violence. And I'm just, you know, I'm overwhelmed with that, but I give it to God. You got to give it to God. So when you pray, when you read the scripture, it keeps our flesh in check. It keeps our feelings in check because, you know, feelings, they come and go, right? So we have to keep our flesh in check. Really, 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 seriously. I'm eating my watermelon, y'all. And don't laugh. I got mustard on it. I don't care if you say, if you say something, but I tried it and it's not good and it ain't bad. I, I don't know. I can't describe it. Just, 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 just roll with me here. I, I, you ain't got to roll with me, but 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 I, I'm just just telling you what I got on my my, my watermelon. <laughs> Amen, Doctor Sony. I praise God for that because when people and I don't mind praying for people either too, but I want you to realize you have that same power within you. You have that same power within you. Hey, Argentina, praise God. I love you. Um, you. You got that same power within you. So I'm going to type up my, I'm going to finish typing up my, my, um, my sermon for Sunday. And um, we going, we going, and it might change. I just, I tried to follow the spirit no matter what. I'm about to juice a watermelon. Oh, that's some good juice right there too. Watermelon. Yes. Have you tried watermelon and cranberry mix? Oh, I love you too. Oh, thank you. We love you, microphone and all. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I love all y'all. I thank you so much always for the love and support. I did. Yes, always. Always in constant prayer right now because as a mother, and I don't, you know, I always have to get on my live and sometimes I'll start crying, but it's all right. It's all right. I don't apologize for it. I, um, as a mother that, I have the blessed opportunity to take my children to school each and every day. And I share with them on our way or when I pick them up, like how much I think about them throughout my day, right? Because, let me see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, four. they're away from me. For seven hours, both my children and my husband, right? So I make sure that I emphasize when I see them, when I'm with them, how much I miss them. And I am so grateful to God to see them again because it's such an underrated blessing that we can sometimes, I've been there, take it for granted. Trusting that they're going to be okay when they are away. So yes, as a mother, when I continue to hear about the school shootings, I, I, you know, I, it's, it does something to our hearts. Our, 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 the nurturing uh, spirit that we have as mothers. And you don't necessarily have to be a birth mother to have that feeling, you know. Um so I make sure that I'm, 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 I'm touching my children. I'm hugging my children because I want them to know whenever we depart that I pray that God keeps us safe while we are apart from one another. That I pray that, um, that there's something that I said or we laughed on the way to school that they can think of while they're in school, not worrying while they're in school. You know, so love on them no matter what. I was just thinking too, because I was able to be in a position to take my daughter to the dentist this morning. And when I had to schedule, she has braces. So I had to schedule her next appointment, right? And when she said, um, she asked me the question, would you prefer mornings? Or afternoons, you know, they're in school. So as long as I get a school note, I'm fine. And I, and I, and I said something to her. I said, and I thank you God for this moment right here. I, I, a lot of parents are, don't have this, but I praise God because I, I, there were times in my life before I was able to even be here for my children and, 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 and go to them when they call 
As a mother, you want to be there for your babies no matter what, when they call you. So when she asked me, what do I prefer, mornings or afternoons, I said, any time during the school period is okay because I don't schedule anything during their time. That's time I have for my children. I have allotted for my children for when they need me. I can be there. So when we constantly hear of gun violence in school where innocent people No, you, you can't help but to think of the things of like what was the last thing they said to their parents or what was the last thing they said to their loved ones. So when I'm overwhelmed like this, when I'm when I'm flooded with emotions and anger, whatever the case may be, I, I try my best to shift my atmosphere and give it to God. Asking him to show me how I could be of service to him in this capacity because that's hard. That's a hard pill to swallow. I can't even swallow it. I don't even want to think of it. So as a mother, yeah, that tore me to pieces. It, it constantly tears me to pieces each and every time. I get just like this. I get in my feelings and I'm emotional and it's okay. Because I know I can go and lay on the rock. I know I can go to the rock. So I praise God for always turning around situations that can keep our mind at a, in, a, in a battle, right? So grateful that we can go to the rock. So when you want somebody to pray for you or when you want somebody to do something for you, know that you have the power to do it within yourself. Love on your children. Love on your families no matter what. Get on their nerves with love. Nag them with love. And I say it all the time. I tell my children, I sound like my mama and I sound like my grandmama, but I understand. You know when they tell you, you'll understand it better by and by. This may be my last time. I don't know. So I always think about moments where we are about to, to, to separate for a time. We got to be mindful of the things that we, 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 we will take for granted. And, 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 and try to think of it a different way because this, this is not normal, but I know who I can go to and I know who will ease all of my doubts and calm all of my fears. May not go away, but I know, you know, God tells us things over. He sends angels to tell us things over and over and over in the Bible. Fear not is over and over, over 300 times in the Bible. Fear not. Why? Because it's just like a parent telling a child. You know how us parents, we have to repeat things over and over and over and over and over to our child in order to get it. I feel like that's what God is doing in the book when he when 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 there are things that are repeated over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. He wants us to get it. Because sometimes we might forget. And so I've even changed the way I yeah, cause I, you know, I'm fu I, I, yeah, I'm loud, so I'm a fuss. I fuss, but I've even changed the way I try to help them see because I know that if I there are things that are repeated over and over and over in the Bible, like who am I? I, I just just say it again, just say it again. A lot of people say they don't like to repeat themselves. Sometimes you have to repeat yourself in order to get it. Sometimes you have to repeat yourself in order to believe it. You have to encourage yourself over and over and over in this dry and barren land. You got to do it. <laughs> Whew, Lord have mercy. My God. Listen, <laughs> I brought the pills over here because I am actually, I, I, I'm trying, I'm trying to close this thing out, but God is speaking and I praise God for this moment right here, right now. We're going to encourage each other no matter what. I love each and every one of you. We're going to see what this affirmation says for today. And then we are going to have a God day no matter what. 
We are going to have a God day, no matter what. Let me shake them up real good. <laughs> Somebody tag Bond's vision and let her know. We using this. We using this. Our daily affirmation. Let me get a little mini scroll out of here. Listen, listen. I got it right here. I got it right here. Let's see. Come on. <laughs> okay. I will no longer explain my decisions. It will not change other minds. Above that, they are not entitled to the reasons I do the things that I do. And remember, I said this is free will. God gives us the option to choose. So if you're having trouble about who you are and what somebody else is saying, that's the problem right there because we're focused on people. It is better to put your trust in God than to trust in man. If you know that God has called you to do something and you know that you are not doing anything wrong, if it's pleasing with this in the sight of God, you've prayed about it, you keep doing what you're doing. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I will no longer explain my decision. I trust you, God. I ain't got to explain that to nobody. If they don't want to know, they don't want to know. It will not change their mind. Above that, they are not entitled to the reasons I do the things that I do. Now, like I was sharing with you earlier about um, them trying to pass a law because of, of, of banning Christianity or, or just calling Jesus' name, whatever. I don't know the details. I, I kind of brushed over it because I don't like to sit and dwell in negativity. I, want, I know what's going on, right? But I decided, that's my decision. I decided, here is my decision. I decided to make Jesus my choice no matter what. My choice, right? I ain't trying to change your mind, but if you want to know, I'll let you know how I got over. I'll let you know about the God that I serve. Listen, <laughs> if you want to know, I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to force you. So, I love each and every one of you. I'm going to finish my watermelon so I can tighten this up and go get this powder clog. <laughs> get this powder clog remover. I'm going to save the lie. Thank you for... <laughs> I'm going to save the lie. Your husband loves my country accent. I know that's right. Listen. I, 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 I was telling people, I... I I try, you know how when you, you're young, you, you, you try to run away from a lot of things that you don't understand. But then when you grow and you go through a few things and you realize nobody could have done that, but God, it was orchestrated by God. I tried to run away from a lot of things, y'all. I really did. And still struggle with that sometimes. I'm not superwoman by any means necessary, but I am imbued with a power that God has given me. And I thank him. I thank him for that. I love y'all too. I love y'all too. So I'm going to go right now. I'm going to leave the live up for a little while. We praise God for y'all tuning in. I want you all to, to, to have a God day and uh, run towards it. Don't run from it. 